Yes, good day wherever you are watching us. This is you and I ever bring television and you are live on the program, The Gist. On The Gist, we sit down together to discuss uh, some burning issues that are happening in the state, in the country, and in the world at large. Don't forget to subscribe onto this channel so that you can get notified whenever we drop a new video like this. Yes, like I said, on the program, we sit down together to discuss some burning issues that are happening in the state, in the country, and in the world at large. And today, we shall be discussing Osho State Governorship Election that is coming up this Saturday. By the special grace of God, we shall be electing a new leader, a new governor that shall take the mantle of the state and lead the state to a greater height. I'm not the only one in the studio. I have with me here and journalist, someone who is very vast in knowledge when it comes to politics of Osho, Nigeria, and the world at large. I'm talking of no other person than Mr. Femi Afolabi. I call him Femi Kran. You are welcome to the show. Thank you. It's my pleasure to be here. Yes, like I said, we shall be discussing the Osho State Governorship election that is coming up this Saturday. Uh, different political parties have come out with their candidates. A lot of them, let me say almost all of them, have come up with um, their manifestos. They have told us what they want to do for us, what they have for us in their archives, they have told us. And it is left to us now to choose uh, somebody who is very vibrant, somebody who can lead the state to the greater height that it deserves. And that is what we shall be discussing today. Yes, Mr. Femi, Femi Kram, Osho State Governorship Election. Let me even first of all ask you, do you have your PVC? Have you collected your PVC? Sure. Are you sure? Yes, I've collected it since. Good. Now, how prepared are you to vote this coming Saturday? 100%. Nothing will stop me from going out and voting that day. I must. This is my civic responsibility, so I'm going to do it. All right. Now, let us analyze the candidates and the parties. The All Progressive Congress APC. Have, uh, our, our, our incumbent government, that's government way down in Jola. How will you rate the incumbent government so far for the past three years now? Well, in my own uh, opinion, the man has performed excellently well. When you compare the rate of work he has done in that uh, space of that three years, with the income, the dwindling uh, revenue allocation from Abuja, coupled with the little IGR that uh, our state uh, generated, I think it has done very well, in my own opinion. Some other people might say, no, he's, he's supposed to have done more than this one, but in my own rating, he has done excellently well. That's why he has, he has gotten a lot of awards all over the country, international awards, because of the amount of the resources in his disposal and this, I mean, the amount of work he has done. So he has performed excellently well, in my own opinion. In your own opinion, yes. he has performed excellently well. Yes. Can you even pinpoint some of the things that he has done? Now, let me start from the issue of his policy. Where he started? He started with what we call alternative funding. Alternative for, funding. For some of the projects okay. he embarked upon. Right. Because the debt profile of Oshun is huge. Mm. And the first thing that Senmark will do, because Senmark is the one that they use as the guarantor okay. when they are when procuring those that's loans. Right, right. So even if they are giving them zero allocation, they must pay that debt as agreed. It is the little or nothing that they will now use in, 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 in doing all this infrastructure. So in letting those projects. So the first policy he made is that okay, because we don't have much, and we, we, we don't have excuse to tell our people that we don't have any excuse okay, because we don't have money, we don't have funds, we are not going to do this. He embarked on some more projects based on our uh, authority funding. Okay. Another one, there are some things that people have been complaining about. Like what? The policy of the past administration, though they were he was part of those administration for eight years, but exactly. it was not the the, 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 the executive governor. Okay. It was only um, the, 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 the chief of staff. But he was part of the He was part, but he was not the number one man. Okay. He, won't, he can only have his say 
but he cannot have his way during that time. So only have his seat. Yes. Have his way. But now that he has his way, okay. he changed some of the policy, especially in education. Hmm. Single uniform for all students exactly. across the state. Across the state. People have been grumbling. They're because they didn't have the power to change it. So that one of the first things he did, there was a summit, educational summit, led by uh, Professor Udwani. Right. Now, and some of those uh, recommendations of that uh, summit was to revert back to the normal uniform that different schools are using. Are using. So, and some other things like that. So, a lot of things that he has done has made uh, uh, people to love him the more. So, and some other things. So, he has. You sure? Back. Yes. Are you sure that people love him very well? Uh -uh. You will see. Well, really? don't, don't, I, I don't want to be judgmental. <laughs> so, <laughs> Okay, go ahead, go ahead. You are, you are right. Nice to... Now, in terms of remuneration and welfare of workers, okay. he has been trying all the good. Go to retirees. And the retirees. Okay. Look at retirees. Yeah. In a month, he will reach like 1 billion, even more than that, for retirees. And ever assumption of office, he has been paying salaries as at when due. It's not only, not it's only anyone. It's not only any work. Don't let me call it outside because outside is a beautiful name. So he has not been paying up salary. <laughs> like the past government. Yes. Mm. So let's go let's to another sector, ex sector. Though okay. so some people say eh, it was international front that he used. Yes. We have a lot of governors that were giving such kind of loans, I mean, or aids. It's one of the such so kind of aids in the past. Exactly. That they've embezzled it, exactly. they've squandered it, they've mismanaged it. He now picked one primary healthcare in each ward, and we have 332 wards exactly. in Osho State. And they've done that one. So if, if, if you are moving, you can, there's one close to us here. Exactly. You see the way the revitalization of health. And on and on and on. So we are not here to campaign for what he has done. Exactly. Exactly. Yes, we are not here to campaign for anybody, we are only trying to analyze uh, the, the candidates. One after the other. You have analyzed uh, our governor, legal governor, Governor Guiga, uh, Senator Ademola Ademiki, that is of the PDP. What would, what would you like to say on him? Well, he also has uh, a lot of things working for him, okay, like riding on the popularity of his father, okay. late Senator Raji Ayola Ademiki, Raji. and also riding on the popularity. Of his late brother, brother. that's the first Australian governor of the state, Alaji Siaka Adesuja Adeleke, and the little time he spent as a senator. Okay. And the main thing Adeleke dynasty has been doing ever since this time, he has a good chance. It was, uh, people said uh, he gave a lot of scholarship yes. to students yes. in the senator right yes. while he was still the senator. And some other things, they distribute food, and some other things that they've been doing. So he also has a chance, and he has a godfather. Let me call it a god brother. God brother. He has a god brother <laughs> that <laughs> will finance his campaign and, and what have you. So, and the main job thing that will make you to have chance in any political event in Nigeria is the resources at your disposal. So with all these resources that you have mentioned now, do you think he has what it takes to become the governor of the state and to build this state into the heart? Well, I would want to reserve my comment. Why? <laughs> because, like I said, I can only say this to him. He has not been the hem of a peace. Exactly. But what we can say about him, constitutionally, Constitutionally, is qualified to be the okay. So it's now left for the citizens of Russian states either to elect or to the other ones. Yes, don't forget you are still live on UNI Evergreen Television and we are discussing on um, the governorship election that is coming up this Saturday in Osho State. And I still have with me here Mr. Femi Afolabi, aka Femi Kram. Yes, you have mentioned. Um, um, Senator Adimola Adimiki, yes. you have said a lot about him, and the incumbent governor, governor We also have some other candidates from other parties. We have the likes of uh, Dr. Akin Kubi of the 
They are called parts. What can you say? Oh, Dr. Akio Gubi is a good man. Okay. He's a, a good man to you? Not to me. Okay. I, I'm not I, I'm not rating them on a personal issue. I'm rating them on, 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 based on what they've done okay. for their communities, respective communities. All right. So he's a good man. He's a businessman. Okay. He has been in the uh, insurance okay. for quite some time. Like he always said, he employed about over 5,000 uh, workers. Or Shu Indigi. Or Shu Indigi inclusive. Inclusive, okay. Uh, now, nah. right. He's a farmer. Okay. He have a farm even near his, uh, his, his village. Okay. Uh, I don't know, let me call him village, so people will not crucify me. Okay. Yeah, he's there. Uh, yes. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, to me, he's qualified. And he's a gentleman. But in Nigeria, yeah. the problem that we have with other people is that people will not go for somebody that is new. Mm. Somebody that has not been, that has not had any position sure. or school office before. So, it will be very difficult for people to go for them. But they all they stand a good chance. But don't forget the fact that he, he, he was in the PDP. Me personally, he must have his followers too. Don't you think those followers can even affect his vote positively? Yes. Well, only that I don't want to, to be judgmental. Okay. The new party he joined does not have a, I mean, does not have a large structure large that can structure. probably compete with APC and PD. Hmm. Yes. Oh, he's a good man. But what about the platform? So, if you ask them, do you have the platform? They will tell you, we have the platform. We are in all local government, even in the area office. They will step to that. But the strength, the numerical strength yeah. of their, the members of their political party yeah. That's what is nothing to, yes, it's yeah. nothing to rhyme about. Yeah. about. They've had the two major political parties that yeah. So, that's why he's having, he's a good man. Yes, he's a good man. He's a successful businessman. But the structure, Problem. What the you are saying now is yes. that the party is now yes. they lack structure to win this election. Yes, they lack structure. Mm. They lack structure. To me, in my own opinion, That's your own opinion. in my own opinion, okay. they, do, they do not have structure that can win elections. Right. We also have um, Right Honorable Lasso Yusu, mm. uh, the one time uh, Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Was in the APC before, but due to some things, you know, politics, a lot of things happen. Yes. Due to some issues, personal issues between him and the, the APC, he left the APC and he joined the Labour Party. What can you say? Oh, as I've always said, all of them are qualified constitutionally. Okay. Somebody that have been a uh, deputy speaker. As of, rep. of uh, representative, yes, he's qualified, but I'm qualified to me. He, he even can win this election, don't you think so? As a, <laughs> for, a former member of the House of Rep, not even ordinary member, no, nah, deputy speaker, yes, a deputy speaker. Okay. But let me remind you of something, okay? It's not the House of Representative member that will come to Oshun and vote, exactly. It's not, <laughs> it's not it's the yes, I will still say it once more. But the structure of the party, the Labour Party, the structure of the Labour Party, that's the major problem. Mm. He may have all the resources at his disposal, mm. but the channel is not clear enough. The channel is not wide enough. Mm. So that's the only problem most of the those, those candidates of those mushroom parties, like as what you call them, <laughs> mushroom <laughs> parties, <laughs> that all of them probably will get mushroom votes. Nobody has any right to call any party mushroom. And that's why I said, as why you as why you call them mushroom parties, and nobody has questioned it. So I'm leveraging, I'm, I'm standing on the existing protocol. As you are, as you are, as you are. <laughs> so it is the structure in his domain. He record drone. Yeah. He found yeah. he will have uh, 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 yes, a large sum of votes coming. But 
from other other local governments. It might not be so. And constitutional provision says you must have at least twenty five percent of votes coming from two top local governments. So I, I'm not seeing him having it. Yes, no, it's my own opinion. I don't know what he has done on that grant. Whether he has assurance, people have assured him that. It, but in my own assessment, that's the way I've said it. Your own assessment. My own assessment. That is what you have said. Yes. Well, no problem. That's your own opinion. Well, uh, we also have another candidate, uh, architect Oki, bona fide son of the state. Oh, yeah. What would you say? <laughs> Don't forget he's an architect. <laughs> yes, and we need infrastructure development exactly. in the state. Exactly. We need somebody that will redesign mm -hmm. the entire structure of the yes. exactly. It's good. It's intellectually sound. What are his chances? He's brilliant. Very brilliant. Committed. <laughs> he has one of the best manifestos in this election. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. He's the son of the soil. Yes. He has lived in Russia. Who has been in Oshun? He has been in Oshun. He is in Oshun. He is in Oshun. Okay. But the problem with our people, most of our people, not only in Oshun State, yeah. and, and not even only in Nigeria, in most developing countries, citizens of most developing countries ask parochial political culture. Don't, 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 don't let me say all. I say most yeah. citizens. Yeah. Of the developing country have parochial political culture. What do you mean by that? Now, when we say parochial, it's myopic, narrow down. They want to judge you on all ramifications. This how much does he have? How much can they put on the table for us? For us. People will not listen to a uh, manifesto. I can do this thing, I will do this for you. I'll come and they will ask you. Uh, and a person like architect okay, we work with him, we know him very well. I know him very well. Yes, I know him. A lot of people have <laughs> described him as a stingy man. I don't know. Because I don't have any personal relationship. Stingy man. As a stingy man. And before they will, they will call somebody a stingy man, maybe they've asked him for something, for money. For many occasions, and they want to say, what I have is for Some people are able to say he doesn't have the money. And in Nigeria context, yes. if you don't have money, you, you cannot win the election. Really? Oh, forget about good man. Oh, the, the, the former governor of Ode Kaduna State, uh, Alaji Barabi Musa, yeah. he, he, says, he said one time about the president uh, of Kwari, okay. he said, when the man was trying, Osha Koko, Osha Keta, mm -hmm. <laughs> the man said that you cannot become the president of Nigeria. He said, only a team or somebody sponsored by teams can become the president of Nigeria. Hmm. What Balaga Musa is saying directly is that you must be able to spend extravagantly if you want to contest for a political office in Nigeria. Country. And a person like Gokiomi Godro cannot spend extravagantly. So, hmm. And this platform of his, of his political party is not wide enough. So what you are saying now is that's one of his problems. I start to be corrected. Hmm. We'll still come back hmm. and have a review of election. You will see that I'm co I'm right. Hmm. So we are not new Nigeria and we know what it takes what to win election in Nigeria. Yeah, exactly. If you come and tell me I want to do this thing for you, so people will not listen to you. They will not listen they to you. Care. And it's as a result of the mission that people have in, in the past political leaders, hmm. they will promise them that this is what this is our manifesto, we will do this thing for you, we will build refineries, I will not see refineries. <laughs> yes, now. So we will promise you, elect me. After the election, you will buy one liter of petrol at 15 naira. It's not so. so people now want you to give them something, even after getting there, if you didn't do what you promised. It doesn't concern them. God see what you want to do. Exactly. <laughs> so that's the major problem with Gok and He sound intellectually. Hmm. Even he has one of the best manifestos. Yes. But the issue of money in Nigerian politics. Is taking a major, you know what is called lead through <laughs> in, in Hollywood. In Hollywood, lead through. It is lead that everybody wants to look at. Exactly. It's, it is the lead through. Money, Ojuto Pawo. <laughs> it That's is money. It is money. In politics, Ojuto Pawo is money. 
If you have good manifesto and you don't have Ojibwe Pabo, well, you have good manifesto and you don't have money, it's zero. It's only God that can perform miracles that will make such person money. I'm not saying it's not good. Hmm. It's brilliant. It's committed. It's prepared. What about what about Ojibwe Pabo in Nigerian politics? Anyway, Ojibwe Pabo in Nigerian politics is a very very important. Thing to reckon with when it comes to winning election in Nigeria. Femi Clan, I want us to discuss on something very important. Something happened yesterday, stroke today. Uh, the PDP mega rally is supposed to happen, it's supposed to come up today, the 14th of July 2022. Uh, we are supposed to have the likes of uh, the governor, governor of Bayesa State. The PDP candidate for the presidential election, coming to Osho to come and campaign for the candidate of the People's Democratic Party. Yes, I heard from the libel source that they were supposed to use Shibukashi State for the legal right. But from the libel source as well, they were denied the access into the state. Stadium. So later, they resolved to use the frontage of the stadium. Uh, I had their gym last night, so this morning. This morning, at around 6 a.m., uh, I have from the Bible source too that uh, they have been denied access to use the frontage of the Spanish Stadium by the government of the state of Do you think that is right? Well, before I respond to that, we are not sure. Though you said we from the life source, yes. If you contact uh, Mr. Governor, what is it? They will say it's not true. <laughs> but so who is lying? <laughs> your Bible will say two persons cannot <laughs> cannot lose life. Exactly. But what 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 it really means is that, that. <laughs> what it means that yes, if you that they are lying to, then you think no. Person that they are lying will know. know. Hmm. So that is a major problem. But if that information is correct, yes. it's not good for our democracy. Or every political party must be given a level playing ground. Exactly. exactly. As long as there is no party using that facility today, we have to give them access. Hmm. After all, it is the money they want, their money they want to pay. Exactly. But denying them access, I don't think it's a good thing. It's not a good thing at all. Hmm. But we are in Nigeria. Exactly. The democracy we copied from the uh, United States of America, before we start practicing it, we domesticate it in our own way, in our, in our own patriarchy, egocentric manner. Jesus. Because you are, <laughs> that, I told some people, I said, <laughs> Donald Trump is in Nigeria. If you check his DNA, <laughs> I will use the Donald Trump is in Nigeria. <laughs> if you check his DNA, <laughs> somebody I want to hold on to power. Hmm. That, that has been That treat is from Africa and particularly Nigeria. What's being powered by force? Being powered by force. So we heard of one Baba. I will not mention his name because he has denied times to that number. Yeah. They said after he has spent his second term in office as president, mm -hmm. he ventured to go for the third term. So Baba said no, he didn't. So that's Africa for you. Mm -hmm. There is no political office that in Nigeria of today that I know that wants to. So I think maybe that's one of the strategies they want to use to, to make them unpopular. So if it is true that indeed they deny them access to use or supertash stadium, it's not good for our democracy. It's not good at all. It's not good for our democracy. Every political party, everybody should be given a, 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 a level, playing, level ground. playing ground to display what they have for States. Yes, um, Femi Crown, some of our reporters went out last week. Uh, they went out around the town to ask some people about some things concerning the coming election. Um, some voters, some eligible voters, said they are not coming out to vote on Saturday. What would you say on that? that would you you see, voter apathy in Nigeria is a sign of. Uh, leadership failure. Mm -hmm. Because 
one of the major reasons that those people will tell you is that our vote will not count. Our vote will not count. So why do I need to stress myself? Hmm. I will stand up for many hours, maybe under the sun, hmm. maybe under the rain. We don't know how the weather will look like that. A, a, a voter particularly said that the, the progress election that came up in 2018, a particular candidate won the election was denied uh, the victory. She now said that is the reason why she's not coming out. Yeah, to a certain extent, that uh, voter might be right. But as a patriotic citizen, you don't need to let that one uh, dissuade you from going out and casting out. It is your civic responsibility. You continually doing it until you get the better results you want. Now, the candidates you wanted last year, uh, last election, that you said you won. Well, I, I don't want, I don't want to, I don't want to stand on. Oh, I don't know what, what, what you have, that that voter saw to say that one confidently that that candidate won because they pursued their case to the highest court in the in the land. That's Supreme Court. Now, for them to have up with that conclusion that they don't go out to vote. That means they are giving opportunity to the candidates they didn't want in 2018 to come back again. Back again. Hmm. All what they need to do this year, I mean this this, this, this election is that they should come out and max and monitor their vote. Hmm. That's what they should do. So because of what happened during the last election, should not dissuade them coming out this election. Yes. Yes. So that, would, that would be my own uh, advice. All right. Um, that is your own advice. Today. What you are saying is that they should come out. They M should come out. M -mass. To vote for their choice of candidates. Yes. All right. No problem. Let's talk about the, the electoral empire now. That's the INEC. Yeah. They, they, they have come out to say that they are not any problem. As far as this election is concerned, that they are fully prepared. In your own opinion, do you think INEC is fully prepared? Because uh, there is a news that came out this, that came up this morning. They said that INEC uh, extended the, the, the PBC collection till the 14th of July. Do you think that is, is going to help this election? Yes, How? it's going to help it 99.9%. From my own assessment, what I've observed, the preparation of INEC is excellent. Yes. Excellent. The beavers, the card readers, the card readers, I mean, they, they, are, they are using beavers now. Beavers, they are using card readers. Yes, they are using beavers now. Okay. So, the beavers, okay. the ballot paper, the ballot box, even the non sensitive material, they've distributed most of those uh, non sensitive material. It only remains those sensitive materials that will be distributed. On the election day. On the eve of election day. On the eve of election day. Okay. So they are fully prepared. From their own end, okay. they are sure that there won't be a problem. But in most cases, the problem we have in our election does not, I mean, most of those problems do not emanate from the electoral empire. Most of it comes from the political gladiators. Okay. Huh. Because they will want to pass short calls. Exactly. In order to get uh, uh, a favorable result for their own party and their candidate. So, in most, but more often than not, INEC in Nigeria is always prepared. And in this election, even if there will be any problem, it will not be from their own lack of preparation because they have adequately prepared from what we've seen on ground. So, that, that, that's my assessment. Alright, um, uh, let's talk about the, the voters now. 2018 global election in Australia. About 600, about 700,000 voters came out to vote. But uh, this year, uh, the numbers, numbers of the people that have collected their PVC have, uh, have positively increased. Uh, what would you say about that? Does that mean people are really ready for this election? People are ready. 
But that their readiness is in two ways. Okay. Some are ready for the election positively, while majority are ready for the election negatively. How? Now, this is what I mean. Those that are ready for this election positively and that have collected their PVC are ready to go out and vote for the candidates of their choice without being induced or motivated to do so. Okay. From my own assessment and observation, okay. I've interviewed so many people. Hmm. Those people are just less than 25%. Which people? Those people that want to come out willingly on the election day and vote, and for, their vote for their candidate, candidate of their choice. Vote for candidate of their choice 25%. without inducement. Without inducement or any motivation. Or the motivation from anybody that I'm a good citizen of a show state. 25%. 25%. Out of I'm 100%. telling you. I'm telling you. That's very small. The majority of those people that have collected their PBC now. I call them business voters. <laughs> business voters. Yes. Wow. Why do I call them business voters? They say, I need to collect my, my PBC at least on that day. I will make nothing less than 10,000. Hmm. That's why I will make myself. Hmm. Majority of them, they are prepared. They will go out that day with the mind of getting money. Hmm. Yes, I'm telling you. Business voters. Bis I call them business voters. So they now. They've seen that PVC not as their right to choose candidates of their choice, but as their mm. right to make money mm. on election day. <laughs> so, 75% of those people are going to vote in this election because of, because of money. Mm. So, if, if you educate them, I don't need to collect money, you just only need to vote for candidates of your choice. Mm. And this way, you, you make politicians to behave. And to do good things while in office. They said, oh, whether if they like, they should, do this, they should do good things. If they didn't like, don't let them do it. Yeah, okay. As long as I get that, it, it's a bonus for me. So after the after the election, if they now feel like they want to do good things, infrastructural development, hey, that will not be an added advantage. Hmm. But for me to now vote for somebody without collecting money, there will some people tell you, you know, but my house is, 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 is far. Hmm. Now I, I like as don't need that you should you should change your PVC in Germany. The location. In, in the location, change the location of your PVC to a, a place that can close, that the closest. Yes, convenient. Yes, convenient. That it don't be like uh, between uh, three electric, I mean three or six electric you are there. But hmm. some people say, I have another thing to do, Jare, but I'm wasting my time. It's only if I, I have some people that will give me something, that's only so that's Major negative now. aspect of their preparation. Hmm. So that's that, that's where some of them. And that that, that brings us to the issue of vote by. Mm. Like it played out uh, uh, in the state mm. some months or some weeks back, whereby a lot of people come out because of money as low as five thousand naira. Some people rejected the money and to act like they are part of twenty five percent of the part of twenty five percent, like you said. But a lot of people, most of them, came out in negative because of money. Do you see that being out here in Shotsu? It's coming Saturday. At yes. least due to your experience, do you think it's coming out? It will come out. Hmm. I'm saying it emphatically. Though it, 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 it's a negative attitude of our people. Exactly. But people should not say that. But we've not found any solution to the only thing that we may witness in this social election is that re-strategization. Okay. They will re-strategize the way they will give that money to the people. So what you are saying is that all of them, all the political parties. All political parties. Uh, there's one of those, uh, I will not, I will not, I will not mention not this thing. <laughs> one uh, standard bearer of a, a, party, a particular okay. political party okay. said he has come with points, he has come with dollars, he has come with but he has come out to say no, about that time. one is after thoughts. Yeah, he said what no. he meant was that uh, he has brought a lot of money to a show, uh -huh. take a show to the greater height. That is the money is going to spend in or should not. So he will be using his money. That was what he said. So, that one is after thoughts. Hmm. What he meant is that they, they are procuring election in Nigeria. And that's what, that, that's what, 
So the only thing that we will witness in Australia State that will be a little bit different from that of a kid's state, okay, is that the strategy they will use in giving people of that, that money. Do you know the strategies? Now, the, 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 the secret ballot system yeah. that we use in Nigeria yeah. was officially um, first, uh, introduced in Australia in 1856. Okay. Why? Because the identity and the choice of the voter is uh, anonymous. Now, but for those political businessmen, those political businessmen that want to procure the procure their votes need to see who they vote for. Yes, before they pay out the money. Before they now pay, pay the money. Hmm. Now, it has become very difficult. This, this, this one that they will snap the, the ballot paper and they will show that they, they voted for you. That is to the authenticate that you have Yes, that one, that one tried in Anambra. That was in 2017. Okay. But INEC has even blocked that channel. It's not possible. So what they are doing? So, okay, this man. I lost your face. So it's like this man will vote for us. Hmm. No. Okay. Well, they after voting, they will not psychologically they will now read their mind. Okay, you voted for us. Okay. They will now give directives to them. Maybe like three uh, houses. Somebody will have been there. Somebody will be there. Money. They will now signal to somebody that will take okay. that voter. That is such a they initially in previous elections, after the voter has voted, snap the ballot paper. Do that. Even in the premises of that the polling unit, pay that voter. But now this is what they will do now. They will just read their mind, their conscience. That's what they will do. But don't you think don't you think vote by is killing? Democracy. It's not. It's not. It's because not. Because we have somebody who doesn't have the money, but has the good intention. Doesn't have the money. But somebody who has the money, but doesn't have any good intention, he has nothing to offer. We need the election. Is that not a problem? It's, it's not that he's killing. It's, it's not that he's killing our democracy. He has murdered our democracy. Only what we, we can. All what we are doing now. Is to revive it. How? Miracle can happen. Miracle? Yes. Uh, a lot of miracles has happened. Really? All the prophets of, uh, of Almighty God. Hmm. Eh? Prophet they, of Almighty Yes, now. <laughs> yeah. of words of Almighty God. They've, 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 they've risen a dead body. Hmm. Uh -huh. So that's because that one has murdered. You can never see, as of today, hmm. a good man without resources. Election Nigeria. I, I made an example okay. of election between General Lucia Gomba Sanjo in, in, in 1999 and the late Danifa Wemi. Danifa Wemi, everybody knows he's a good man. Mm -hmm. Ah, Danifa Wemi is good, though. a civil rights lawyer. There are a lot of cases. They call it pro bono. That if you don't have money, you can afford Danifa Wemi. against somebody, a retired soldier. <laughs> a, a retired soldier won massively. And Danifa Wemi even lost in legal state. Hmm. So a good man without money is no more. So the only the only prayer I can pray for a good man that is contesting is that God should give him money. Someone even said recently that a good man should be sent nice school. Or sign for four. Good men don't win elections. Good men don't win elections. It's so you took power. They are once election and you have politics. We are still live on the program, the gist, and I still have with me Femi Afolabi, aka Femi Cry. And we are discussing the Osho State Governorship election that's coming up this Saturday. Before we go on the program, um, what is your advice? Some youths mm. yeah, sit on the internet, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, so campaigning, doing a lot of things. They don't know what is your advice for them? Well, my 
My advice, let me start from what I even observed. There are in youth, majority, that's like 90% of youth that we have in our states now, wanted to, let me say, they, 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 they want to vote for a particular candidate. Okay. I will not mention the other candidate. But what I observed, 70% of those youth do not have peace. 70% of those youth yes. don't, don't have peace. That is a problem. And they want to vote. And they will, they will, they will, they will, they will they say that we hope on God. Hmm. We hope on God. Who does that? It's only in Nigeria. Dr. Professor Sadi Dayo, he's a renowned journalist, veteran journalist, and he's also a legal practitioner. He said, prayer, go, prayer work. But prayer is an old technology. Yes. Prayer is an old technology. It's an old technology. No, it works. But it's an old technology. It doesn't work anymore right now. But even in, in terms of politics, it's a game of number. Why you not pray to God that God will please this candidate once and you do not have PVC and those that have PVC will not go out to vote? Do you expect God to come down from heaven and vote? <laughs> God do, himself does not even have PVC. Yeah, yeah, so do what you can do and God will do what you cannot do. So those that have PVC, I will urge them to go out on election day and vote for candidate of their choice with Without being motivated or induced. So that's the only way we can start getting into Nigeria. Okay. All right, viewers uh, at home, everywhere you have been watching this program, this is the gist coming to you live from you and I, Evergreen Television, here in Oshimbo, Oshun State. And we have been discussing the Oshun State governorship election that is coming up. Saturday. And my guest has been Mr. Femi Afolabi Femi Kran. And we have been you know, discussing for some minutes now. Well, he has said it. He has said everything. And I want to add this. Youths. Osho State youth. Don't sit down at all. Don't sit on the internet on the election day. Go out there and vote for the candidate of your choice candidate of your choice you know i'm hammering on that the candidate of your choice don't sell your vote it doesn't make sense how would somebody give you a token amount of money to vote for them just go out there vote for the candidate of your choice that's been a deal to me i did uh, talking to you from you and i evergreen television mr family crown thank you for coming my pleasure. If we call you some other day, you used to come. Probably service. After this election, we are still coming back. Ah, we are still coming. To come and review. We are still coming. A lot of things I have said, we are still coming. Come and see. We are still coming and review. Yes, yes. yes. An, oct an octopus. <laughs> it's alright, uh, viewers. This is where we shall be drawing the curtain on today's program. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that subscribe button down there on the screen. Don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever we drop an exciting video like this one. Until next time, when we shall be coming to you again, after this election, we shall be here in the studio to discuss uh, the outcome of the election. Until then, my name is Adiruti Adiruti. Thank you.